If you thought HD cameras couldn't get any smaller, check this out. It's the Flip Minnow. This little camera is the definition of simplicity. Really, it only has two buttons to speak of. You've got the big red record button on the back and the power button on the side. You press this button and it's ready to shoot inside of two seconds. Two seconds. All you have to do is hit the big red button and go. The video really is 720 HD. Just don't expect the picture to rival that of a larger video camera. All the same, I love this camera for putting content up on the web. But what you give up in quality, you gain in convenience. This little camera is insanely portable. But what do you need to know before you start shooting with it? How can you get the best picture possible? The first thing you'll probably look for is the zoom. You can zoom into your picture, but the zoom is digital, so it doesn't look that great. When shooting with the flip, it's best to remember this mantra. Embrace the limitations. You want to zoom? Forget about it. Walk closer to your subject. Zoom with your feet. But don't get too close. The camera's macro function is non-existent. Anything closer than about 18 inches, well, it goes out of focus fast. Well, if there's so many limitations, why do people love this camera? Two words. Portability and simplicity. You only got one red button. And you can take the camera almost anywhere. A camera this small, well, it'll really show every shake, every breath, every jiggle. So use a tripod, even a little one like this. The camera has no image stabilization, so every time you move, the camera moves times two. So the image can get really jumpy. If you can't use a tripod, then brace yourself by leaning up against something, like a pole or a tree. Barring that, put your weight equally on your feet, spread kind of a little bit apart, tuck your elbows in, and hold the camera with two hands like this. You don't want to be holding it out with one hand straight out. It's going to be really hard to keep it steady. One other thing, the microphone on this camera, well, it's about the size of a grain of rice, and it's really susceptible to wind noise. Don't be counting on hearing good audio from far away. It's best to be close if you want to really hear what's going on, especially if you're in a noisy environment like crowds or music or traffic. This little camera is so simple, there's no headphone jack and there's no place to plug in an external microphone. You're pretty much stuck with the audio that's on the camera. I've also found that when you play back a file, the audio sounds a lot worse than it really is on these little tiny speakers. About the only way to truly check your audio is to transfer it over to your computer and play it there. Kind of defeats the purpose of this incredibly portable device. The camera is great for a lot of situations, but the lack of a real zoom makes it lousy for sporting events. Combine a low quality mic and well, that's a poor choice for concerts or events. So I've given you a long list of don'ts. Don't be too far away, don't be too close, don't wiggle too much. But I forgot to mention the most important don't of all. Don't leave home without this camera. You're going to love it. It's a blast. Sure, there's some limitations, but embrace the limitations. Figure out how to work with it to tell your own story. So what are you waiting for? Get out, get shooting.